Okay, so in this video we're going to have a quick look at um, IG. Um, previously IG was known as IG Index, it's now rebranded to um, just IG. Um, we are going to have a little look at the interface and find out um, you know, more about uh, IG. So first of all we can see the home screen, this is what you see if you're not logged in. Um, it, it kind of it's kind of shouting about all the um, all the features of the platform. It makes a big deal out of the exclusive news and analysis that you get from um, all the all the staff there. Um, David Jones, uh, you see him on TV a lot. Um, so Alistair McKay, you see him uh, on a lot of videos as well. Um, so let's let's go ahead and log in. Um, I'm just going to use the details that I've got stored here. So you you log in and this is what you're presented with. You're kind of dumped straight into uh, the the main screen. Now the first thing to say is that um, IG is is very proud <laughs> of its uh, interface. It's very proud of its platform. Um, it's not a white label of anybody else. It's it it's runs its own show, so to speak, um, and it likes to do everything um, itself. So it doesn't kind of tend to buy in technology from other people. It tends to develop it in house itself. It's very very proud of that. Um, the first thing you notice is you see this. Um, you've got a kind of a lot of default watch lists here. So all the main markets uh, are set up for you, and you can kind of obviously see them um, updating in real time. Um, now the first thing to say about IG is it's the biggest of its kind. Um, I think it's I think it may be like twice or three times as big as its um, nearest competitor, which would be um, uh, London Capital Group. Um, which which operates capital spreads um, and a few other white labels. Um, so it's you're you're dealing with one of the big boys. Um, that's kind of reflected in the huge range of markets that it offers. I mean, if you you can navigate all the markets down here, you you look at the indices. Um, you've not just got the UK, US, European. You've also got uh, African indices. Um, you know all the Asians. So one thing IG does is it has a whole load of different sectors. These are um, uh, companies that are bundled into an instrument for you to trade. So, for instance, you can trade, um, you know, beverages to um, uh, on a daily rolling basis or on a you know a quarterly basis. Um, so, all sorts of um, markets uh, for you to, all sorts of sectors for you to bet on. So, construction, um, financial services, food and drug. Um, Another thing that IG offers is a big range of um, ETFs and trackers. Um, if you're someone who likes to, uh, you know, try and track the market, try and mirror the market rather than beat it, um, you've got a lot of um, uh, instruments here that will en en enable you to do that. Going down, you'll see a, a massive range of uh, shares as well. Um, the best way, I mean, they're listed alphabetically here. Uh, the best way to find one is probably to. Um, it's just to look at it, type in its uh, search for it here, and uh, it'll come straight up over in the um, in the prices window. So as you um, scroll down to the bottom of the um, you know the navigation here, you come to the some of the more um, exotic markets that you can you can bet on with IG. Um, like a lot of other providers, it now offers binaries. Um, these are you can you, it's basically a, a, a bet where you decide. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Um, and there's all sorts. There's other kind of more complicated variations on that. Um, so if I want to bet that the FTSE will finish down today, or if I want to bet that the FTSE will finish up today, I can take it at these kind of odds here. Um, there's there's also um, if I want to there's also binaries on five minute markets, so I can I can bet you know where the FTSE uh, where Wall Street will finish. Uh, will will close in the next five minutes, um, which is pretty, uh, uh, you know, gives a lot of action. And um, if if you're, it's much more of a gambling product to be honest. Um, but if if you're looking for that, then that's that's available here with IG. Um, so IG d tends to do a lot of specials. So first of all, it's got this house price market, which um, is not something that is offered by other providers. You can bet on um, UK house prices. That that's that's actually just bet on the official um, figures from the I think it's the Council of Mortgage Lang 
Council of Mortgage Lenders, so you're waiting for that information. You can see the better peer has been settled, so the next one available to us um, would be uh, in September. But you can bet much farther out than that if you like on the December, March and June markets. Um, we've got some, it, it has some other specials, so it's just like the Royal Mail IPO. Uh, if you don't want to get involved in that, um, you know, on a kind of, in a, con in a conventional basis, you can um, you can bet on the uh, market cap that uh, it will have. Um, let's let's go into the let's see if we can get some information on this. Yeah, so this this um, settles base. So it's based on the market capitalization at the close of the first day of unconditional trading, um, and it has to uh, you know it has to uh, float by December twenty fourteen um, for the bet to be valid. Um, so you can see um, one thing that IG has done is that as I've been looking at these uh, different bets, it's kind of added them to watch. It's like suggesting watch lists that I want to create. So I've been looking. I looked at UK banks. I looked at UK mining. I looked at the five-minute binaries. So it's kind of stored them here. And if I want to add them to a watch list, I can do it quite easily from here. Now, one one interesting thing about the IG platform is that it allows you to create custom bets. Um, so if I click on that, you'll see what I mean. Um, it opens in a different window to the i to the main IG, you know, platform, which um, su suggests that it's it's kind of running on a different platform um, to the main, you know, dealing uh, software. Now, the other thing the thing you'll notice before we get started on this is that to do to make any custom bets, um, we have to transfer some funds. Now, you'll notice in our main account here we've got about five thousand pounds. Um, but in in this window we don't have anything, so we have to um, move some money over from the trading platform to, in order to do that. Um, so custom bets basically it's much more of a gambling product than uh, than the other stuff you'll see on IG. Um, so I can say, all right, the, the I think um, the uh, I think that cable is going to be higher at um, half past four today and I'm going to bet 425 pence. Um, so you can kind of create your own bets in that way. Um, th there's other things like one touch, that, so you can bet that the market will touch a certain point. Um, doesn't matter if it stays at that, it's just got to kind of m touch it or move through it. Um, so I can say, okay, I think the the cable is now at one five six one two point two. I believe that it will touch that bef in the next couple of hours, and I'm going to bet uh, seven hundred and fifty one pence. Um, so you can see the kind of um, the, you know the kind of custom bets that you can make. As I said, much more of a gambling, uh, much more of a gambling product. So let's go into the D let's go into the um, trading area now. Um, I've, I'm going to bring up Vodafone um, because it's the most popular um, market on IG, but the most most popular share on IG, uh, I believe. Um, now, one of the things you, you'll notice that it has all the different um, ways I can trade this. I can trade it on a daily fixed, daily fixed bet, just sorry, daily funded bet, or just uh, the next few quarters. Um, one of the things that IG is quite proud of is its market data with any uh, market it it spreads you can bring up a lot of um, market information so if I just click on that it opens in a web browser um, you can see the current price that how much it's moved during the during the most recent day um, a chart's going to come up here in a minute I expect um, IG also tracks the chart patterns that it's um, that have been completed or are emerging for all you all you chartists out there, there's recent news as well. Now this is all pretty standard stuff, but what is um what's unique to IG is its sentiment indicators. So it shows you that what else people are trading who have positions on Vodafone. Um, you can see that um, people also have positions in BP, and 94% of those people uh, have long positions. Uh, it shows you how many people are long or short on Vodafone. So at the moment, 95% of IG clients are long, and it shows you um, one thing to always look out for is how many people th we're talking about. So 
it's saying that f between 250 and 500 people have open positions in this market. Um, so it tells you how significant this percentage is. You know, is it uh, is it statistically significant or not? Or not? And with with that number of bets, then it is. Um, so that that's the um, you know all sorts of kind of market insight here. I will just close this window. Um, to make a we'll, we'll make a daily funded bet. We bring up the bring up the deal ticket. Um, now, so let's say you know we're gonna enter a ten pounds per point um, uh, ten pounds a point bet. We're gonna we're gonna go long. Ninety five percent of people have a long position. Um, we're not gonna be contrarian today. <laughs> we're gonna um, we're gonna go with the go with the market. We're gonna set a fairly tight stop here of uh, fifteen points. So um, that's opening us up for a potential £150 loss um, if, if the bet doesn't go our way. Um, and we're going to take our profits if it reaches uh, if 30 points. If So a potential loss of £150 and a potential gain of £300. So that's a 2 to 1 um, risk ratio. Now we haven't done much research into this. This is just a kind of uh, example bet, um, but let's go ahead and, and buy that now. And you can see instantly that's confirmed. So we'll come back later today to see how that's um, performing. Uh, you can see any open positions that you have uh, appear down here in the open positions window, and you can see you know whether you're in profit or loss. Um, you're always in loss. You're always on the wrong side of the trade to start off with. That's because. Um, uh, that's because of the spread. So don't don't worry that your your bets are always seem to be losers <laughs> straight away. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just the spread. Another thing you can do in IG is create alerts. So let's say there's a share price I want to monitor. Um, one of the um, one of the stocks I sometimes monitor is Bwin Party. It's, it's somewhere that um, uh, I used to work once. And so I, I like to monitor that. I happen to know that this stock is kind of range trading between um, 100 and 130. So I know that if it gets down to 100, it's it's looking oversold. So I might want to just monitor that. So I can click on this and create um, set a price alert. So if this uh, if if the buy price is um, is lower than I don't know 105, then um, I want to send myself a message. So I'll just set a reminder message. So put you in maybe and I can have that email to me. I can also have it SMS to me, but I think I'll just choose email. So IG's charts um, are also something that it's, um, it does well in. Um, you can see here that we've got um, this. This is the standard chart layout. You can customize this in any number of ways. Um, you can bring up a lot of the technical indicators here. It's got the MACD on, um, Bollinger bands um, by default. You can turn those off and show momentum, um, all sorts of things. Um, you can you can draw if you want to if you kind of like to create your own notes, um, put arrows. Um, you draw you know drag out the Fibonacci uh, on here. Of course you, you know you can also um, actually trade through the charts, which is something that is quite some people find quite useful. Um, I, I find it a, I, I'm not for me I'm not that comfortable <laughs> trading on the charts. I think it's too likely that I'll make a mistake, but some people like to trade through uh, trade through the charts, so that, and that's fine. You can also see um, the uh, you know volume and open interest down, down at the bottom here. Okay, so we're just going to go back and um, you know look at how our open position on Vodafone is doing. Um, 
you can see it listed here at the bottom of the screen in the window open positions. Um, if we look over to the right of the screen we can see we're actually in profit £7.80. So we click on it and it opens the spread betting ticket. Um, you can see the details of the open bet and there's a handy button in the corner that says close position. Uh, and when we click that it knows what we need to do to close it, it knows we need to sell. So sell is already selected and if we just click it then we get the uh, it, it's confirmed instantly. So we've locked in that £7 profit. Okay, another useful thing about the IG interface is the ability to tear off prices like we're doing here. Um, this lets you kind of float prices in a separate window so you can keep them um, you know, around your screen if you want to carry on doing other things. Um, it's quite useful if you have a certain number of stocks you want to concentrate on but you don't want to um, you know, you don't want to kind of keep the main dealing window open, the main platform window open all day. You can just have these floating around. You can actually, um, on some of them, you can uh, trade from them as well. So you can keep them in the corner of your screen and just easily click buy or sell um, if you want to get involved in the action. Under here, you can actually tear off a, a ticket rather than just the price. So you've got all the um, if you see that, say, gold does something interesting, um, you have all the tools there to be able to take a position um, at, at any point during your working day. So that's about it for our tour of IG. If you are going to try the platform, if you are going to start spread betting yourself, uh, leave a comment on the video, let us know what you think, let us know any questions you have, and we'll do our best to answer them.